What is a weird flex you are proud of? I went viral and got a million plus views on YouTube in 2007 for a silly rap about the Nintendo Wii I made out of boredom, before that was a common thing, and before there were ads on YouTube. My video was featured on the front page of YD, on Attack of the Show, and at Nintendo's E3 press conference that year, and was one of the first hundred videos available on the iPhone, since iOS didn't support Flash video at the time, and while I felt like the coolest kid in town and at my campus for a period, I made exactly zero dollars for it. I finished three chapsticks in a row without losing them. I have survived a murder attempt and a run-in with a literal serial killer. After 30 years of being a couch potato, I started running in my 50s. 11 months later did a half marathon in a decent time for someone half my age. One of my favorite composers responded to an email I sent him asking for feedback on a cover I did of one of his tracks. It was a lengthy and insightful response and it really did make the six month of working on it all worthwhile. Edit, for those asking, it was Chris Christodoulou's The Rain, formerly known as Purple, which you can check out my cover of here. I can mimic the sounds of birds, get all the birds in the area to start singing, and even get them to seek out the big bird. It's kind of funny to have them completely change their song when they realize I am not a bird, almost screeching at me sometimes, especially cat birds, edit, I really need to do a video, hopefully will be nice day soon and before Reddit explodes itself. I walked from Mexico to Canada once. 35 and my socks never came out unpaired out of the washing machine. Flexed biceps light skin tone smiling face with sunglasses. I'm cured, not just remission, of what could be considered the most aggressive type cancer known to man, most aggressive is not to be confused with most deadly. Either way, I'm still alive bishes. I'm not an addict and my kids ate and has never been in foster care or involved with child protective services. I come from a long line of addicts and unruly white trash, and though I don't have a high-paying job, I do work and provide above and beyond what my parents ever did, without government aid. Also nine years sober from hard drugs. I broke the cycle. You are all so kind. Thank you. I forget how far I had to go to make it where I am and I only post it here because to me, it is a weird flex. I don't know anyone in my personal life that is living a reasonably normal life trying to be the best parent possible that flexes breaking their generational trauma cycle. I can turn my arm all the way around 360 degrees and I make some of best shrimp and grits you'll ever have. I once won gold at the Games Workshop Golden Demon painting competition in the 90s. Quit straight away and never entered again. Go out on top. Edit, since people have been asking. I was in Barry Manilow's backing choir for a few Wembley Arena dates. My YouTube account is blessed. I have not received an ad in over a decade, and I do not pay for premium. I don't use ad blockers, and I've tested it by adding my account to my friends T.V's and other devices. They get ads on their account, but I do not. Edit, since this post is blowing up, I'll add something slightly NSFW. I also have full access to Pronhub Premium for free. At this point, I really do believe I've hacked the matrix. I can squeeze my butt cheeks so tight it cracks my tailbone like cracking your knuckles. My class was working on a short film together with professionals, and I was an editor. I got to work with the original editor of LEGO Ninjago Season 1-3 to on my class short film. I made a leather shoe a few days ago. It's rather tiny, but kinda cool and wearable for Gnome's edit, wow. So much attention, ha ha ha. I uploaded a picture on my profile. I swam the gap between Sicily and mainland Italy. A zebra bit me in my left arm. My cursive handwriting is beautiful. 
Like something that came out of an old legal document from the 19th century, I get compliments about it all the time even though many young people can't read it face with tears of joy. Literally, nobody cares, but it's certainly something I'm proud of, and I like it when people notice it. My mother had beautiful penmanship and actually worked as a calligraphist to make extra pocket money when she was in college, so I guess that's where I get it from. I'm a legally blind person, so I have residual vision. I can still walk around my apartment and find my stuff when there's a power outage using muscle memory. Edit, had no idea it would blow up like this. I love the curious ones. I have a winner license. Opening beer bottles with my belly button. I can resemble the moo of a cow rather accurately with my voice. This time last year, I was hella suicidal. I lived, bitch. Flexed biceps. I've been sober for exactly one year now, down to the day. I've been completely sober for seven years after almost 15 years straight of complete binging heroin, opiates, and alcohol. Despite my parents not believing that I'd finish high school, I graduated high school, got my associates at my local community college, and am currently pursuing my bachelor's degree. I'm a first-gen Latina in a male-dominated field, but I got here without my parents' help and without them believing in me. I did it for me, and I'm proud of me. Edit, I didn't expect this amount of kindness from anyone, so thank you all very very much for your kind and motivational words. And oh man, thanks so much for the awards. I can lose a remote that I had just searched for.